Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. We crashed and burned last night, barely missed uh, splitting a pair of NBA picks last night. However, still on a bit of a hot streak heading into the weekend, cashing five of my last eight NBA picks. Got a couple of favorites in mind for you this evening here. Started off in Min or excuse me, in New Orleans, where the Minnesota Timberwolves are coming into town to play the Pelicans. Pelicans come in as a five-point favorite in this one, total of 218 points. Now, New Orleans should get a nice boost tonight with Eric Gordon returning to the lineup, and as long as Anthony Davis is uh, good to go here for tonight, looks like he hurt his leg in the last game, but uh, should be uh, probable to return here this evening. As long as that is the case, I think the Pelicans could be a pretty good play here at minus five. They've owned the Wolves in the past here, already beating them twice this season. I think with the fact that Eric Gordon's coming back, is also going to help out this Pelicans offense as well. He's obviously their best shooter, and if it's one NBA skill that he has, it is spreading the floor and uh, making teams respect his ability to shoot the three-pointer. And while Andrew Wiggins probably not going to be thrown off of his game by having to guard Eric Gordon for however many minutes Gordon is in the game here tonight, it is going to at least make him have to respect him, which should open things up for the Pelicans offense, should give Davis, if he's in the game, a uh, good room to roam as well. Hopefully spread things out enough to where the Pelicans can get some good production on offense against a Wolves team that's been pretty bad on defense here this season, giving up about 105 points per game. New Orleans also 6-3 and three against the spread in their last nine meetings with the Minnesota Timberwolves here. So I think minus five, pretty good bargain here for the Pelicans laying the points here at home. Next up is the San Antonio Spurs heading into Houston. Play the Rockets tonight, another battle of Texas, where the Rockets come in as a 5.5 to 6-point home dog in this one. Uh, total in this one sitting right at 213, 212.5 points, depending on which book you're looking at here. And once again, even though the Spurs have not had a whole lot of success in Houston, not only this season, but in the past as well, Houston 5-0 against the spread in their last five meetings with the Spurs in Houston, I think the Spurs can counter out that tonight here and be a pretty good play at minus 5.5. Houston's obviously going through some things right now. They're uh, not gelling right now. Of course, we uh, all saw the video of James Harden uh, getting mad at Dwight Howard for a blown alley-oop about a week ago here. So if the Houston Rockets losing four of their last six here are starting to finally tumble down the standings and the Spurs will usually start to turn it on here around this time of year, around uh, late February, early March, in heading into the playoffs. I think the Spurs are an absolute bargain at the price they are at here at minus five and a half. I think they've been uh, they've been dominated the, uh, the Rockets in their last two meetings uh, after that uh, Christmas Day game where they lost and uh, beat them handily here, both straight up and against the spread and by double figures in this one. I think they can do the same thing even on the road tonight. As long as they bring their defense, which they tend to do, and the Rockets tend to, uh, uh, if, if the Spurs can slow down the Rockets enough here and play their style of game, force them into a half-court contest, I think the Spurs here laying the points on the road still a pretty good value. So uh, Spurs minus 5.5, Pelicans minus 5. Those are your NBA picks of the day. Best of luck to you on both of those, and I will see you back here for Sunday's NBA action. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.